Hi everyone, I'm Mike, this is Mike Core Circus, and today we're diving into the world of P.T. Barnum, the man who has been famously attributed to saying, there's a sucker born every minute. We'll explore his controversial career, his innovative approach to entertainment, and his lasting impact on the circus industry. The early life of P.T. Barnum, born on July 5th, 1810, in Bethel, Connecticut, Phineas Taylor Barnum grew up in a modest household. He started working at a young age, and by the age of 21, he owned a general store, a small lottery, and even a newspaper. Despite these early ventures, Barnum was always drawn to the world of entertainment and showmanship. The start of Barnum's entertainment career. Barnum's career in entertainment truly begun in 1835 when he met Joyce Heth, an elderly African-American woman who claimed to be the 161-year-old former nurse of George Washington. Barnum began exhibiting Joyce Heth as a curiosity, drawing large crowds and generating significant revenue. However, the truth about Heth's age and connection to Washington was later revealed to be a hoax. This incident marked the beginning of Barnum's controversial career, where he frequently blurred the lines between fact and fiction. Barnum's famous quote. P.T. Barnum is often credited with the quote, there's a sucker born every minute. Although there's no concrete evidence that he actually said it, the quote captures the essence of Barnum's approach to entertainment. He was known for his ability to draw in crowds with sensational stories and attractions, often pushing the boundaries of truth and exploiting people's curiosity and gullibility. The American Museum and the Birth of Modern Circus. In 1841, Barnum purchased Scudder's American Museum in New York City, where he displayed a wide range of curiosities and oddities, including the famous Fiji Mermaid and the General Tom Thumb. His talent for creating a spectacle and attracting large crowds laid the foundation for modern circus. In 1850, Barnum arranged for the European tour of the celebrated Swedish opera singer Jenny Lind, often referred to as the Swedish Nightingale. This tour marked a turning point in Barnum's career, elevating him to international prominence. The creation of P.T. Barnum's Grand Travelling Museum, Marangere Caravan and Circus. In 1870, Barnum joined forces with William Cameron Coop and formed P.T. Barnum's Grand Travelling Museum, Marangere Caravan and Circus. The circus featured a variety of acts, including acrobats, exotic animals, and the now iconic three ring circus format, allowing simultaneous performances and keeping the audience's attention throughout the show. The Barnum and Bailey Circus. In 1881, Barnum partnered with James A. Bailey to form the Barnum and Bailey Circus. This partnership led to the creation of the greatest show on earth, a title that would stick with the circus for decades. The Barnum and Bailey Circus became famous for its extravagant and daring acts, as well as its use of elaborate marketing campaigns to promote the shows. The circus continued to grow and eventually merged with the Ringling Brothers Circus in 1919, creating a legacy that would last until its final performance in 2017. The impact and controversy of P.T. Barnum. Barnum's innovative approach to entertainment, use of publicity stunts and talent for creating a spectacle have undoubtedly left a lasting impact on the circus industry. However, his career has been marred by controversy with accusations of exploitation and deception. Many of Barnum's exhibits involve people with disabilities, such as the famous Siamese twins Chang and Eng and Charles Stratton, known as General Tom Thumb. While some argue that Barnum provided opportunities for these individuals, others claim that he exploited them for profit. Additionally, Barnum's sensational approach to marketing his attractions and his willingness to bend the truth has earned him a reputation as a master manipulator. Despite the controversies surrounding his career, there's no denying that P.T. Barnum has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. So that's it for today's episode on P.T. Barnum. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and other circus videos. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.